I'm going to keep saying this so we don't lose focus. I cannot remember something in my last 30 plus years in this culture that was this hip hop. I swear to God, this is the greatest moment to be a hip hop fan in my, that I could remember. Rick Ross with the instant rebuttal to Drizzy. I just reacted to Drake's drop and give me 50 aka push ups where he dissed everybody who's coming at him, and then Rick Ross instantly with the rebuttal. Oh, this is hip hop. Mm -hmm. Champagne moment. Fish tanks and marble floors, living big and bad. Niggas laugh until they hit with my official jab. Crack mm -hmm. smoke is the exhaust from my pen and pad. Ghost writers, they get the floss, what you could have had. Y'all know I've said for a long time, I think Rick Ross's pain gets slept on all the time. I think Rick Ross still creates music like an old school hip hop nigga. Like he reminds me of like a cool G rap type uh, 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 type nigga, like a, a, a Big Daddy Kane era. He's still like that. The beats is always fire. He said crack smoke is the exhaust for my pen and pad. What? What? He said ghost riders flexing sh that you could have had. Oh my god. Listen to the rhyme scheme, my official jabs, pin and pad, shoulda had. He these niggas are rapping. Now nah, I, I think Ross always be rapping, but that's come on. Jab. Crack smoke is the exhaust from my pen and pad. Woo! Ghost writers, they get the floss, what you could have had. Damn. Record label taking a loss. Are you in your bag? You a worker on the chart. Don't make me laugh. Get the mind tell by my watch. This a different time. Living fine, I'm getting high. It's your shit decline. Who believe? I'm getting high as your sh decline. Now, I don't know about numbers wise. First of all, I, I'm so proud of all these niggas, Bajeko. I'm so proud of every single person involved in this, even ASAP Rocky. Y'all proved today that I remember when niggas was saying that this era of hip hop, this blog era, wasn't hip hop. I remember it. I remember it. Y'all came at the, y'all got the last laugh, and I love it because this is my era. This is my era. Rick Ross is a rapping right now. Surgical. The mix ain't even all the way there. That's how you know he was thirsty. Different time. Living fine. I'm getting high. It's your shit decline. Who oh, yeah. He said it's your shit decline. I don't know numbers wise if it's true. But don't it, the energy around Drake, don't it feel like, I mean, before this diss track, because I feel like Drake is up now again, which blicking. But don't it feel like Drake's like the last three projects. I love the one he did with 21. I, I loved it. I went to the concert and everything. My thing is, I feel like for for all the dogs, felt like it came and went, bro. And maybe I wanna I wanna do chart numbers. If somebody knows what is when it comes to first week sales, where does for all the dogs land on Drake's discography? What number? Because if it's lower than five, if it's like his fifth or worst selling. I could be wrong though, but it's what it feels like. It's your shit decline. Who believes he moving keys in his Louis V's? Run up on you and snatch your chain. Watch you bitches bleed. Mm. Feel the pain or just describe where you really ride. Either you niggas getting money or ready to die. B.I.G. or give a fuck if you T.I.L.E. You got... Or you ready to die. B.I.G. could give a F if you T.I.L.E. Oh! The thing is, Rick Ross, and I'm going to keep it tall, Rick Ross is a lyricist's lyricist. This is really intricate like rapping. We give a fuck if you uh Niggas is ready to die. Uh, 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 B.I.G. big, ready to die. Can give a F if you chi. The B.I.G. can give a F if you chi Ali. That is, <sighs> Ross be rapping, bro. I got so many Ross verses memorized from word to word. From who? To outro, nigga. Give a fuck if you chi Ali. Uh -huh. You got it and you keep it tough if you be by me. Mm. Do the job, better known as the Charles Schwab. Double law spread through the yard, and I swear to God. Pop a perk for the field. Go and count me a meal. Kill you niggas for free. Do it all for the thrill. Mm. Niggas leaking their records when we speaking directly. If we keeping it gangster, when you see me, you check me. Damn, this is a quick rebuttal. You, I'm trying to tell you, Ross is a hip hop head. Quick rebuttal. He knows, 
that you'll get extra points if you rebuttal fast. He said, nigga, you leaking your records. I will say, the way Drake dropped that record was awful. That The, the rollout for Java Give Me 50 was awful. Having the internet have to speculate if it was legit or not, I had to sit and wait on look at my timeline. That was bad. That was a bad move. Now, I don't think it hurts the record. I know there's going to be people who will try to act like it hurts the record. No, we got the record. We heard the record. And who's to say that it wasn't on him that it leaked? But Ross is saying, you leaked it, nigga. I'm speaking directly. I'm dropping my shit right away. I ain't leaking it to see how the field think and then claiming it. When we shoot, we claim our bodies right away. We don't wait for the news report to come. We claim the body right away. That's the one strike I had on Drake. You got to claim that body instantly. Even if it leaks, give me a tweet. Give me an Instagram story. I heard he put on the Kill Bill on a story, but that was hours later. Give me something right away when that shit leaked. But I get it also. He didn't want that the leaked version to be the version that niggas listen to, and I respect that too. I was mad when it got leaked, especially if, if, if it wasn't on him that it got leaked. I'm mad. I would be sick if I was Drake. I'd be like, of course you're going to leak my shit, right? Because I'm me, right? We keeping it gangsters. When you see me, you check me. Check me. White boy, I see you. I see you. Yeah. Check. Getting bullied, don't walk up on me because the clip is fully. Niggas mm. pussy don't want to push me. I'm like, really? Would he? Mm. Like his moves. But he never had a fight in school. Always ran. Another nigga had to write your grooves. Flow was copying your pace. Wheezy gave you the juice. Another white boy had to park one and hang with the crew. Put Dog, he's calling you a white boy. This nigga Ross calling him a white boy. You copy and paste the Wayne style. Bro, the fact that this nigga rebuttaled in two hours and had this in the clip lets me know this nigga never liked Drake. How you had this in the clip in two hours? In the clip? Oh, you was too... And here's the crazy part. As soon as Drake's record leaked, Rick Ross posted a picture of him in the studio. So who knows how quickly he recorded this. This just released like that quick. So... I feel like, I ain't gonna lie to you, the one thing about this, and this is why I kind of waited to listen to Drake's record, the mix in this is kind of weird. I feel like his verse, need, uh, his voice needs more reverb on it. Um, I feel like the beat needs to be turned up a little bit and mixed a little better. Uh, but at the end of the day, the fact that he just said, F it, drop it, is one of the most hip-hop shits I've ever heard. That nigga said, F it, drop it, nigga. Drop that shit, bro. No, because at the end of the day, the lyrics is what's most important. But like I said, I would have liked it to be a polished piece. Because Rick Ross dropped po his music be some of the most polished. So, Damn, he calling you a white boy. He say you copy and paste Wayne style. Damn. At the park, want to hang with the crew. And he say you just a white boy at the park that wanted to hang with the cool niggas. Damn, bro. The park wanna hang with the crew. Pull it surprise when they're switching up like dyed denim. Get incentives for all the killings while we ride rentals. Look wait, wait. Pulitzer Prize winner. Pulitzer Prize. What award did Kendrick win? He's not talking about Kendrick, right? He's talking that I get it. Pulitzer Prize is like you just write stories. You're just making up stories. But I gotta remember what Kendrick Lamar a won. Pulitzer Prize. No, he's talking about Kendrick. All right, let me hear that again because it sounded like he took a shot at Kendrick. Hold on. No, that's... Hold on, hold on. Nigga had to write your grooves. Flow was copying your pace. Wheezy gave you the juice. Another white boy had to park one and hang with the crew. Pulitzer Prize winner switching up like Dyed Denim. Get it. Pulitzer Prize winner switching up like Dyed Denim. That's a hard-ass line. He said, so Kendrick is switching sides. That's that sounds like a diss. If you talk, if you tell a nigga he's switching sides, you saying he unloyal. You saying you an upper ass nigga. Don't nobody go, oh that nigga right there, he be switching sides as a compliment or just like a. <laughs> nobody says that. That's why Trippie said, don't go switching sides, switching sides. You feel me? Like, so I'm, I'm a little confused. Was that a shot at K dot? Let me, let me look. The white boy at the park wanna hang with the crew. Okay. Pull it surprise when they're switching up like dyed denim. Get incentives for all the killings while we ride rentals. Look me right in my face. He beginning to shake. Told you niggas stay scheming. I predicted my fate. Got
Yo, Ross's pen might be. I told him to skate, stay scheming. I predicted my fate. That lands so crazy when Drake is on stay scheming. Oh, nigga, that's such a intricate. Bar. That's such a layered bar. That is such a layered bar. First of all, stay scheming is the song. Drake is on stay scheming. Niggas say that Drake was dissing in the common, so he was taking shots and stay scheming. Rick Ross, the song is called Stay Scheming. What's the hook? Niggas wanna get at me. Wow, Ross! What? In the shake, told you niggas stay scheming. I predicted my fate. Hold on, and you know that this is an unprecedented moment in hip hop when niggas are dropping their diss records and they're not even fully mixed. We're talking about the biggest rappers of our generation are dropping unmixed records right now just because they so thirsty for They so thirsty! They so, nigga, hey, my blicky, my, my trigger finger, shh. Bro, my trigger finger got a goddamn rash right now, bro. They just, the engineer's like, okay, hold on, give me like three, four hours, I'm gonna polish this up, we gonna be ready. Rick Ross said, nah, I'm <laughs> gonna drop that shit now. Oh, nigga, what? Again in the shake, told you niggas stay scheming. I predicted my fate. Got more Put in the comment section if you think he was taking shots with the Pulitzer Prize when it's switching up like Dye Denim. If he was taking shots at Kendrick, let me know in the comment section if you think that. I, 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 to me, that sounds like it. Shake, told you niggas stay scheming. I predicted my fate. Woo! Got more money to you. Fuck you want me to say. 50 mils for the crib. Where you want me to stay? I can shoot up the block. I got bitches to pay. Let you DM my old, but got bitches you can't. Let you get on my song. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. That shit, that mix is crazy. Hold on. I can shoot up the block. I got bitches to pay. Let you DM my old, but got bitches you can't. Let this is the one that Dat Piff uploaded, so I'm assuming that this is official tissue. And I and I respect the fact that he dropped this so quickly, nigga. Damn my old, but got bitches you can't let okay. you get on my songs. It was good for your face. Now bitch nigga is home and no room for debate. Pop a perk for the field. Go and count me a meal. I'm not gonna lie to you. When when Ross says let you get on my songs, it was good for your face. That's a line that I think a lot of niggas gonna sleep on because niggas gonna say that's a rebuttal to Drake saying you know basically I gave all you niggas your biggest songs because at the end of the day what Ross is saying is like yeah you helped me but don't act like getting on records with a nigga that niggas classify as more of like a tough guy harder bravado more huh, more you know double M G tough nigga didn't help you too. When niggas was saying you was so I I've been here for the whole story. Niggas was saying you was softer than Charmin. You started getting next to them double MG boys. You feel me? Yeah, man, it helped you too, is what he's saying. Now, do I totally agree? I agree to a point. I agree to a point. I agree that you know uh, 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 one hand can wash the other. Now, you might, one hand might wash, the left hand might wash the right hand more than the right hand washes the left hand, but when you put them together and rub, you're getting something from one another. You feel me? So, Ross was helping you. Now, I believe Drake was probably helping him more if his biggest songs are with Drake, so. Work for the field, go and count me a meal. Kill you niggas for free, do it all for the thrill. Niggas leaking their records when we speaking directly. Yeah. If we keeping the gangster, when you see me, you check me. Yeah. Oh, nigga. Oh, I think the cracking is in the beat. Oh, I, okay. The sam whatever they sample, it has a crack. Sometimes samples have cracks in them. Like, wow, he came up with the receipts. He ain't never had receipts. That age crazy. That's why you had operation to make your nose smaller than your father knows, nigga. I don't follow you, nigga, because you sent the motherfucking cease and desist to French Montana, nigga. You sent the police, nigga, hating on my dog project. That wasn't the same white boy that I seen, nigga, when we were making them early records, nigga. We dog, the fact that he just called him a white boy. Ah! <laughs> Ross. And niggas sleep on how funny Rick Ross is, too. Rick Ross is a funny nigga, dog. I ain't gonna lie, though, when, when, when uh, cuffing like Ricky, when Drake said that, 
He said, how are you jumping in this shit and he damn near 50? That was hard, but I ain't gonna lie. Rick Ross came back. Fun, fun, hold that, nigga. Hold that. When we were making them early records, nigga. When you were happy to be around, nigga, <laughs> seeing niggas fucking stun in your life, nigga. Get with records, nigga. When you were happy to be around, nigga, seeing niggas fucking stun in your life, nigga. Get Wheezy some more money, nigga. Get rap a lot some more money, nigga. White boy. Yeah. Biggest. It's Rose, nigga. We can do it how you want to do it, where you want to do it, anytime you want to do it. I'm ready. I'm ready, white boy. Huh? I know you got your Dockers on with no underwear, white boy. Yeah, you had that surgery, that six pack going, that's why you wearing that funny shit at your show. You can't hide it, nigga. <laughs> no, this nigga just. This nigga, this nigga's a comedian. Rick Ross is a comedian. He said you wear a with no underwear. <laughs> Ross said, I ain't no hoe, nigga. I ain't going out like that, bruh. Ross standing for his. It's going to be hard for Drake to do this because he has so many niggas he has to fight at the same time. And each one of these niggas can make dedicated diss tracks to this nigga. So... He did his thing. He did his thing. I just dropped this song with Metro Boomin. Yeah, you heard me right. It's streaming everywhere. Right now, I need everybody, well, after this video, I need you to go to the video. I need you to drop a like, and I need you to drop a comment. Let me know you from this video because I want to know where all the real ones really are. And I need you to go to Spotify, iTunes, wherever you stream your music at. I need you to add that to your playlist. And I need you to bump that.